Well, you? Yeah. But how? What should I do? Turn the tap off properly first. Mm. <sighs> Thank you. You saved my life today. But who are you? Water. Droplet. You can also call me Bundiram. Okay. But Bundiram, why were you screaming? You wouldn't have saved me otherwise. And I would have gone down the drain. How would I be useful to anyone? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, water is life. Hmm. Man cannot create water. Then why waste it in the first place, buddy? Hmm. Do you know? 97% of the water on earth is in the oceans. You mean salty? Yes, and 2% is in the polar regions and also in the form of glaciers. Then what about drinking water? Only 0.6% of the water is under the earth's surface which can be used for drinking. Really? In that case, I must save you. Mm -hmm. Do you know where do we come from? Uh, from the rain. And where does the rain come from? From the sky. Now don't you ask how water goes into the sky. <laughs> Pundi Ram, even my teacher doesn't ask me so many questions. The answer lies in the question itself. Look, rain water either seeps into the ground or falls into rivers and flows into the sea. The heat of the sun turns it into vapour. This vapour rises into the sky and becomes moon. <laughs> Silly, it becomes clouds. And the clouds turn into rain. This is the water we must save. Mm. Like building dams in rivers and buns in lakes. And do you know how rain water that falls from your roof can be saved? By collecting it in large pits. So that maximum possible water seeps into the ground. You can also save all the water that is wasted at home. But Bundi Ram, how can I do this alone? Mm. I am too young to manage that. Yes, you can. Just start with yourself. While brushing, keep the tap turned off. If you bathe under the shower, keep it turned off when you soap yourself. Actually, a bucket full of water is in a fur bath, isn't it? Yeah. I don't even want to bathe. But mom insists. Not done. Bathe every day. But use only a bucket full of water. Don't use a hose while washing your bicycle. Use a bucket and a tumbler instead. Mm. Wash fruits and veggies in a vessel. Not under the running tap. Don't turn the river into drainage by washing dirty laundry and household utensils. Use water from a bucket to wash cattle. Hmm. And use that water for the plants instead of throwing it away. Are? That way so many bundirams can be saved. Hmm. Tell me something. How much water is present in your body? Hmm. <clears throat> Bundiram, my body doesn't have water. It has blood, like a lion. <laughs> okay, lion. But you need water to form blood in the body. And anyway, 70% of your body is made up of water. Mm. Ask your teacher. Ah. You know water is necessary for drinking, cooking, washing and cleaning. And every person needs between 20 to 50 litres of water in a day. Now how many people live on this earth? Can you calculate? <laughs> the point is, it's a very large number. Hmm. And clean water is relatively less. Hmm. Huh. A lot of people have a habit of polluting water. How's that? By throwing trash in the river, releasing waste in lakes and streams. That's how. Hmm. I can do something about it. 
I can tell mummy papa too and tell other people too. Yes. Come on, let's go. Okay. Hmm. Papa. Hmm. <coughs> So you will say water too, won't you? Because drop by drop makes an ocean. 